Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in our last lecture of Pinus, we have discussed systematic motion classification of Pinus and external features, morphology of Pinus tree. That Pinus plant body is differentiated into three parts root, stem, and leaves. In this lecture, it means in today's lecture, I will clear anatomy of Pinus root. Dear students, in this lecture, I will discuss primary structure. Anatomy of Pinus young root, that is primary root. Dear students, the young root of Pinus that shows following parts. This outermost single layer is, it is epidermis or dear students, it is epiblema or piliferous layer because this outer layer, it some cells become elongated and they produce root hair. Not down competitive exam students in case of pinus. This outer layer, it is epidermis, it is piliferous or it is epiblema. Its few cells become elongated and they produce root hair. Generally in case of pinus, the root hairs are poorly developed. A few of root hairs because root hairs are replaced by fungal association, fungal hyphae associate with pinus roots and they produce mycorrhiza, the association between fungal hyphae and pinus root. Dear students, the fungus, the fungal hyphae which involves in the absorption of water and minerals while the plant body that provides nourishment, organic matter to fungal hyphae. That is a symbiotic association between fungus and pinus root. Dear students, the fungal hyphae also provides an environment which is antimicrobial. This epidermis, this epiblema or it is piliferous layer, it consists of thin walled parenchymatous cells. Next part is cortex. Next to this epidermis, this multi layered, it is generally four to five layered cortex. And the cortex cells, which are thin walled parenchymatous. A few cortical cells, the few cortex cells act as tannin cells because they secrete tannin. As well as in this cortex, these canals are present and these are, dear students, these are retin secreting canals. Next to this cortex, this inner layer is it is endodermis. Dear students, very important competitive exam students, endodermis. It is single layered, parenchymatous cells are present. And in the radial wall, in the lateral wall of epidermal cells, some thickenings are present. Some biological strips are present, which were discovered by Caspre. He observed that in the radial wall of endodermal cells, some thickenings of subrin and lignin. Dear students, these strips, these thickenings are Casparian strips. And these Casparian strips or thickenings are made up of subrin and lignin, which were discovered by Caspre. So these are named Casparian strips or Casparian thickenings. And these biological strips or thickenings which act as biological police post or check post, which involves, which checks, which act as a barrier for the movements of molecules. Next to this endodermis, this multi layered, it is pericycle, and that pericycle encloses vascular bundles. Dear students, this pericycle. Again, it consists of thin walled parenchymatous cells. Very important, very important part that is 
वेस्कुलर सिलेंडर्स वेस्कुलर टिश्यू वेस्कुलर बंडल्स इन केस ऑफ पाइनस रूट इन दिस प्राइमरी रूट इन दिस यंग रूट द जाइलम जाइलम फ्लोइम फ्लोइम जाइलम फ्लोइम जाइलम इट मीन्स वेस्कुलर बंडल्स जाइलम एंड फ्लोइम आर अरेज ऑल्टरनेटली नो डाउन वन टू थ्री थ्री जाइलम एंड वन टू थ्री फ्लोइम इट मीन्स द वेस्कुलर सिलेंडर वेस्कुलर बंडल और वेस्कुलर टिश्यू इन यंग रूट और पाइनस दैट इज ट्राई आर्क नॉट डाउन इट इज ट्राई आर्क बट इन सम स्पीसीज ऑफ पाइनस द वेस्कुलर बंडल्स मे बी डाई आर्क मे बी टू जाइलम एंड टू फ्लॉइम बट हियर थ्री फ्लॉइम एंड थ्री जाइलम इट इज ट्राई आर्क द वेस्कुलर बंडल्स इन पाइनस in this genus may may vary from 2 to diarch to hexarch 2 to 6 generally competitive exam students the condition is triarch 3 phloem 3 xylem which are arranged alternately another important point that is this xylem it is hexarch in condition hexarch means this protoxylem means first formed xylem and that protoxylem first formed xylem that faces outwardly and this protoxylem which is which bifurcates and this protoxylem which bifurcates and becomes y shaped because in the two arms of each y a canal is there and this canal it is Ragin canal. This meta xylem, it is late developed, and this meta xylem, which is well developed, and it is large sized, and this meta xylem always faces towards center. Dear students, it means fast or young. The small size proto xylem that always faces outwardly. So the condition is exarc. One. Two, three phloem and three xylem. The condition is triarch. And in this xylem, the xylem vessels are absent. Not down. While in this phloem, the companion cells are absent. It means competitive exam student two points very important. The xylem. its first form part proto xylem that faces outwardly the condition is exarch this late formed xylem it is meta xylem that faces inwardly in this xylem in this xylem a ragin canal is present between the two arms of y shape xylem this proto xylem which bifurcates and its shape becomes y shaped dear students this phloem tissue that is without companion cell pith or medulla this central part that may consist of pith or medulla but in case of pinus root primary root the pith is poorly developed or it may be absent If it is present, then it is made up of thin-walled parenchymatous tissue, and the pith stores food substances. This is all about young root of pinus that shows primary structure. This is anatomy. It is transverse section of young root of pinus that is primary root. Dear students, in our next lecture, I will discuss secondary root, secondary growth in pinus.